Hey, it's Joseph from Magic Touch. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make money at home using the Oki White Toner Printer with Magic Touch paper. Let me show you how easy it is to do. Hey everyone, Joseph from Magic Touch USA. Usually we're here today to show you instructional videos of how the Magic Touch paper works. But today, because of the trade show season being suspended till June, we're gonna show you our demonstration we usually do at trade shows. So what that entails is we're gonna show you the whole array of what with the Magic Touch arsenal has to give to you. Powered with the Oki White Toner Printer, we're gonna show you what you can become, which is a one-stop shop. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the Team One transfer paper. The one step self-weeding, self-cutting transfer paper made to go on light and medium color shirts. You don't have to worry about the material, you just gotta make sure it's a lighter medium color, okay? Let me show you how easy it is to use. Here, we're gonna have our heat press set at 300 degrees. We're gonna put our t-shirt down and we're gonna press it this wonderful Baby Yoda on board logo for five seconds, okay? So 300 degrees for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. After the five seconds are up, you take the shirt, I gently wave it. It's a warm peel, not a hot peel. Then I just take it and I peel it right off. And there you have it a one-step self-weeding, self-cutting transfer paper. But here's the magic in the Magic Touch paper. Now we have one sheet of paper that we call our T-seal. Now our T-seal is reusable up to 500 times. What it does is it pushes the toner inside the fibers of the shirt. I'm gonna show you now. So you put the T-seal down and you're gonna press it again for another, usually we recommend 30 seconds minimum, depending on the quality of the shirt, but you want to seal it for a minimum of 30 seconds, okay? What it does is, again, it pushes the toner inside the fibers of the shirt. So, after the 30 seconds are up, because this is reusable up to 500 times, I'm just gonna take it off and put it aside, okay? And there you have it. Now, a shirt like this will give you a minimum of 40, 50 washes and dries. Now, most people with transfer paper know that it feels heavy. When you stretch it, it cracks. Here, usually, the soft hand, you can't even feel it. And here's the proof right here in the pudding. When you stretch a shirt, especially when it's hot, what happens? It cracks, correct? Watch. Just in case. That is why Magic Touch paper is superior than anyone else's on the market. That is the T1 one-step self-weeding, self-cutting on light and medium color shirts. Hey, it's Joseph again. So. We saw the T1 full color and a light and medium color shirt. Now, what's also very unique about the T1 transfer paper is you can actually put it on a black shirt if you wanna put a foil on top of it. Imagine doing vinyl without weeding or cutting. So for instance, a logo like this. How long would it take a normal customer to weed something like this? 45 minutes to an hour? You wouldn't even take the job. With the T1 one-step self-weeding, self-cutting transfer paper, let me show you how easy it is to do. So, we have our black shirt. We lay our T1 logo down. Again, nothing changes like the first step. 300 degrees for a whopping five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Take the shirt and, and peel it right off. As you can see, you have black toner on a black shirt, okay? Now that toner is gonna act like an adhesive, okay? You don't have to weed and cut anywhere around the logo. The foil is only gonna to stick to the toner. So, when you're applying the foil, you wanna make sure the color is facing you, and you press, again, for 300 degrees. Again, how long? Five seconds. So, you see everything is simple, 300 degrees, five seconds with the T1 paper. After the five seconds are up, we're gonna take it, fan it, let it cool off, this is gonna be a complete cold peel, so just fan it for about five, 10 seconds, or just set it aside. If you're doing a whole bunch of other shirts, let it cool off. When that's cooled off, we're gonna put it down somewhere flat, and then watch this. Look at that. Look how amazing that is. How long would it take you to weed? It took us 10 seconds. Now, look at the intricate design, the detail. But we're not done yet. The number one complaint about foil or things like this nature is washability, durability. When you scratch it or stretch it, it cracks. Same sealer sheet, put it down, 
Remember, minimum of 30 seconds to seal, which is everything inside the fibers. You're almost gonna get a direct to garment uh, type of feel and durability aspect of it just because of this one sheet. So, after the 30 seconds are off, take it off. I'm gonna remove this because it's reusable. Look how nice that made it pop. You cannot even feel it. Now, here's the big test. When you stretch it, it's supposed to crack right away. How's she look? Perfect. Do you see why the toner is embedded inside the fibers of the shirt? That's how you know about the washability and durability. The next paper I'm about to show you is the WOW 7.8 two-step transfer paper. Hey, Joseph again. Now I'm gonna show you the WOW 7.8 two-step transfer paper made for dark shirts. Okay, so black, navy blue, maroon, the darker uh, side of the spectrum of the color shirts. So every box of WOW comes with 100 sheets, 50 magenta and 50 yellow. Now, most people are used to printing on a transparent film where you're wasting a lot of toner, not with our process. With our process, we actually have the white underbase on the paper, so it's more opaque for you, okay? So let me show you how it works. The wall is a two-step process. First, you need your wall pad, which is very similar to a sponge pad. We throw in a system with you, okay? This is good for life, just don't lose it. So you put it down, and then you're gonna mirror both sheets together just like this, all right? The yellow watermarks are gonna be down, and the purple watermarks are gonna be up. Next, we're gonna dog ear a corner to help with an easy peel. We have a piece of parchment paper that we throw in every box. You're gonna put that on top and you're gonna press it 300 degrees for 60 seconds. Now, the WOW 7.8 is a two-step process. Out of all the transfer papers that we have, over nine papers, most of all of them are one step, simple, easy to use. The WOW is the only two-step process because it lays on a white underbase for you as well, okay? As long as you're used to the heat press, the heat of it and peeling apart while it's hot, you shouldn't have any issues with this. Now, that being said, you got to make sure you have a good heat press. If you have a China-made heat press or a heat press you bought off Amazon for $100, this process will not work. Transfer paper is a very simple process. It's time, temperature, pressure. As long as all three of those variables work together, you shouldn't have any issues at all, okay? So, after the minute is up, I'm going to swing away the heat press, put one finger down, and pull the other paper apart. Everything that we printed on the magenta is gonna transfer over to the yellow sheet, and then we have our transfer to put on a t-shirt, okay? So, the minute is up. I'm gonna take it off. I'm going to remove, swing away my heat press. Now, as you can see, next, it's just an easy, smooth, low to the ground peel. Nice and easy. So, everything that was printed on the magenta sheet now has released over to the yellow sheet, okay? So, we have our transfer. Now what's great about the WOW process is you can use this today, tomorrow, next week. There's really no shelf life on this. Once you do the first step, the second part is very simple. So, we grab our t-shirt, we put it down on a heat press. What's great about the WOW process is it's a dark color, but it doesn't matter the material. You wanna go cotton, polyester, silk, nylon, tri-blends, leather. We have customers using it on spandex. There's no limitations to what you can press it onto. The reason for that is this. Here's your transfer. You're gonna put it down. You're gonna press it for 300 degrees for five seconds. Nothing scorches at that temperature. Nothing scorches at that low time. So, after the five seconds are up, we're gonna take it off. We're gonna remove the t-shirt off the heat press and we're gonna cool it off, okay? The WOW 7.8 is a complete cold peel. So if you're doing a whole bunch of shirts, set them aside, let them cool off, come back and peel them off, okay? If not, just span the shirt for about five, 10 seconds, let it cool off, and then you should be good to go. If you have a piece of marble or a cooling block, you put it down, it helps it cool off even quicker. But once it's cooled off, you're gonna put it back on a nice flat area and you're gonna remove it, okay? Same process, you're gonna seal it again for another 30 seconds to embed it. So, we're gonna put it down, and then just, voila, there you have it. Look at the intricate design, the detail, everything on that. But, remember, 
Washability, durability is our number one thing. So we're gonna put it back down and we're gonna seal it for another 30 seconds. Again, pushes everything inside the fibers of the shirt. You won't be able to even feel the toner on the shirt. That's how soft hand it is. That's how great durability you have. 30 seconds are up. Remember, my one seal sheet I could use 500 times. I'm gonna set it aside and look at that. Look how great that is. Simple, easy. Look at the intricate design of the icicles. Perfect, easy process. That's the WOW 7.8 transfer paper. One thing I forgot to do is a stretch test. Let's stretch it, see how what happens. Ready? Most transfer papers, especially a two-step, is gonna crack. Not at all. Because again, the toner is embedded inside the fibers of the shirt. The quality of transfer paper that goes with the Magic Touch paper with the OKY OK toner printer can't even compare to anything else on the market. Thank you. Now I'm gonna show you how to use our CPM paper. CPM stands for ceramics, plastics, and metals. So what that means, you can press onto any hard surface substrate. This is what you wanna do. T-shirts are great. I showed you how easy it is to do T-shirts, but you don't wanna limit yourself in just T-shirts. You're gonna make great margins on shirts, but this is where the margins are at. The tumblers, the glass, the metal, the raw wood, the awards. You'll make better margins on that. Plus, you don't limit yourself to T-shirts. You be, actually become a one-stop shop for your customers, okay? Let me show you how it's done. You have your CPM, hard surface transfer paper. We're gonna cut it. And then, this is just a regular piece of metal. Nothing fancy about it, just a regular piece of metal. Then, we're gonna put it on the substrate, put it down. That wow pad that we always use, we're gonna put on top, and we're gonna press for 300 degrees for 60 seconds. Now, every hard surface substrate, that's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna do the substrate, paper, pad, 300 degrees for 60 seconds, cold peel. If you have something circular, you want to use a muck press. But again, look how durable this is. It is not coming off. It is baked in there. Now, most of you are familiar with sublimation. With sublimation, you have to buy coated products. With our process, the coating's on the paper, not the substrate. Go to the dollar store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walgreens, Walmart, Target. It doesn't matter where you go. The coating's on the substrate. Raw wood, you can press now onto raw cutting boards. Nothing special about these. What's magic is in the paper. That's why we're the magic touch paper, okay? So, every hard surface substrate, 300 degrees for 60 seconds. After the 60 seconds are up, we're gonna take it off. Now, every hard surface substrate is gonna be a cold peel, okay? No matter what, it's gonna be a cold peel. If you're doing it on wine tumblers, if you're doing it on mugs, if you're doing it on cutting boards, if you're doing it on acrylic, it's always gonna be a cold peel, okay? So, once it's co cooled off, I'm gonna cool it off over here. Once it's cooled off, it's pretty good. You're gonna take it and just rip the paper right off. There you have it. Now again, how's the durability of it? Let's see. Pretty good, and it's still warm. That's how easy it is to use the CPM hard surface paper. Thank you. So I showed you our t-shirt transfer paper and our hard surface paper to use with the heat press. That right there will make you margins that you wouldn't believe. They'll make you more money than you ever thought you could make. But now I'm gonna show you three papers that are not heat press related that will grow you into the one-stop shop that your business needs to become, okay? We have three papers, the water slide decal, for non-heated items, the CL Media for window decals, and a temporary tattoo, which is a great promotional thing for high schools, football events, promotions, 5K run events, things like that to help your business grow to the next level. I'm gonna show you all three at once, okay? First, I'm gonna show you the water slide decal. So with the water slide decal, it's pretty simple. You print, you use your cutter to cut around the image, you contour cut it, and then you stick it in water, okay? It's a water slide, so give it about 10, 15 seconds, okay? Before that, I'm gonna show you how to use the temporary tattoo paper, okay? Temporary tattoo is a fairly simple paper. You cut around the image, 
like so. And then every tattoo has an adhesive liner to it. Now, when you're ready to peel it off, say a logo like this, like Baby Yoda. You could fit up to 25 tattoos of Baby Yoda on here. The paper costs you $3. If you charge $2 per tattoo to your customers, that's $50 profit on one single sheet of paper, okay? Let me show you how the tattoo works. You just take the adhesive off, you put it down, and next, you grab some water, and you just put it on your arm. Now, warm water will take it right off. Usually with cold water, you need about three, four dabs to really get it nice and wet. After it's done, the paper will slide right off, and there you have it. There's how simple it is to do temporary tattoo. Now, the water slide decal. Water slide decal is one of my favorite papers. You can put it on substrates that cannot be heat pressed, wine tumblers, uh, decal uh, toy cars, toy trains, or my favorite, candles and soaps. All it is is put it on the candle, let it sit for about 24 hours. You still can adjust it in that time, but after 24 hours, it will adhere to the substrate, and even with candles, it burns evenly with the candle. That's another way of making money using the Oki White Toner Printer with Magic Touch Paper. So we showed you a temporary tattoo. We showed you a water slide decal. Now we're gonna show you one of the fastest growing industries, window decal. So you don't need to buy those big, wide format, $40,000 print and cut machine. With the Oki White Toner Printer, we have a sticker paper that's perfect for window decals. Imagine this as a window. You take it off and then you stick it on your window. And there you have it. With that same printer that you make t-shirts with and mugs with, now you can be in a window decal business. So with those three papers, you are growing your business exponentially over just by making t-shirts. You're gonna be different than that shop down the block who can only do t-shirts and sublimatable mugs. With this process, you're not limited to anything you can do.